Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in once again on a great streak right now. I'm very pleased. Even with doing some of the modded character showcases, the streaks are going well. And we get a tinted Maggie run as well, which is always just a whole lot of fun. Of course, the synergies... Whoa, 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 what is this? Please take a, mess uh, a moment to read this message. Hello, Repentance Plus was updated to include unlocks and achievement systems. You now need to gain completion max with the tainted characters to unlock modded content. You can also track your progress or unlock max in two ways. Using the console command, typing um, help, or using the mod config. Important. Uh, your unlock progress is saved only when you exit a run. Interesting. So, one thing that I'm unsure about with that... Is the stuff that... Because I've got Dead God, do I already have the stuff or not? I'm just going to play the run as normal. Let's actually take a little look through the mod menu and have a little look. See, but that's really cool to know. I'm actually going to pause the recording in a, in a moment and take a little look at... Um... Ooh, okay. So, these are all our unlocks here. Okay, so this is this gives me a really good reason to uh, start my Dead God Plus series. In fact, I might do that in the next episode. I was saying about uh, starting Dead God Plus, and if, this, if these stay locked... Even if I have Dead God, then I'm a happy person, because that's going to be really good. Um, so, you can go over to... Wait a minute, go back, and then you go to all the characters. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We can change... Okay, I like this. I like this. So... Hmm. I wonder what the character unlock... What does character unlocks me, unlock mean? I don't, I don't exactly know. And then why was one of them birth certificate? Oh, that's special. I see, I see. Okay, pretty interesting. I'm I'm definitely intrigued by that. I'm going to go quickly and pause the video and take a little look at the patch notes, and I'll come back in a second. Okay, we are back. Apart from that, there's not really too much. Um, but that's really interesting. Of course, ooh, we can get uh, thingy hearts here. That's interesting. Uh, of course, as I said in a recent episode, I want to start a Dead God Plus series where essentially I am... Um, ooh, Molten Dad is so good. Um, I want to start a Dead God Plus series where I go over Golden Troll Bomb, lovely. Where I go over the game with Dead God already had, but there's a way that you can give yourself Dead God if you already have the Steam achievements, but still uh, not have the completion marks on your pages. And, um, oh, okay, so uh, whoever made the, um, whoever made the more... Isaac's thing did not account for Tainted Maggie at all. That is clear. We're going to be getting a lot of uh, a lot of little fellas here, which is going to be rather intriguing, but I will be taking them nonetheless. But yes, um, I kind of want to start this Dead God Plus series, and I'm excited to do so now. Excited to do so indeed. So I can do this and just, yeah, beautiful. Um, yeah, I guess I'll grab that. And you know what? There's a battery there as well, so I'll just do that. And there you go. I'll grab that, and I'll just grab that, and that, and I'll go and grab that, and I'll also grab this, and I'll grab that again, then we'll come back over here and we'll find our secret room, I'll pop this, get a lovely I'm excited, secret room probably here, it's not, okay, I'm gonna pop Yum Heart real quick, um, okay, I'm not quite sure where secret room is here, of course I want to try and use Mysterious Gift correctly here, so... I'm going to try and save that for the right moment. I have one other bomb currently, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Let's just power through the rest of this floor and, and see where we want to end up. The phone's pretty useful here. I like it. Of course, we're using Maggie's uh, walk into enemies tactic. It's very useful. Um, Okay, it could end up being here. Okay, well, only one of those ended up being an enemy. Let me just check that real quick. I don't want to be too hasty here. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's here. It is indeed. Uh, pop in here. Oh, you are a keeper. I didn't expect that. You don't deal contact damage? Interesting. We'll pop that. Oh, we got the poop. Are you kidding me? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we can go back and we can go and grab our molten dime and try and duplicate it to get other secret room items because that's how it works. So we grab that. It's already charged. Good, good. Okay. Come here, my little poopy. Unfortunate. It did hurt me. Getting hurt with uh, Molten Dime really isn't a problem for us, though, so I, I'm not too worried about that. Right, let's pop into the uh, into the boss fight here. Okay, nice. I'll wait until I've taken another hit and then pop that. I don't want to completely wreck this guy with com uh, contact damage if I don't have to. 
Right, good, good. That's a really nice pickup there. Good, good. In fact, that's an incredible pickup, right? Isn't it? Old bandage on getting hit, we can drop red hearts. I very much like that. Let's go back to my shop real quick here. Okay, so what's going on in the shop? We got another red heart there. I would very much like to, um, do you know what? <sighs> Stop running away from me, you stupid heart. I didn't mean to donate that coin, God damn it. I'll just do this real quick. I'm gonna buy you. Do that. There you go. Very nice. Oh yes, what a what a ridiculously powerful item this is. I love it. Okay, then we get that. That rerolls the shops. Actually, I'm probably not gonna take that. Um, I think we're pretty good, pretty much good to go here. It's a little little bit of a shame to leave that many items in the shop, but there's nothing else we can do about it. And we already got some really good stuff here, so I think we're good to go. Um, it was supposed to be going for the beast here, so it really, doesn't really matter which way we take here. But with 10 keys, I feel like we kind of have to go down this way. Um, I need to be careful of my current HP. That's in a little bit of a tight spot right now. Um, I just want to make sure that I don't end up losing my devil deal. O obviously, I'll take angel deal. I'd rather take angel deal every time anyways. Okay, good. I can't believe that, the, that you can get the... Um, What's it called? Hearts. Okay, that was close. I can't believe you can get the thingy hearts. Um, well, I can't remember the name of them now. The mini Isaac hearts from just walking into enemies. That's That's gotta be a bug, right? Oh, what the hell is going on with these fellas? I'm probably gonna lose my devil deal here. Um, I would like not to, but I honestly... With the current damage of my tears and not being able to walk into these guys... I'm pretty confident that that's not going to happen. Okay, that that helps. Like I said, I can't really walk into these guys properly. I'll pop that real quick. That's going to help out a lot. Um, I'll come back to that room. Okay, this one's fine here. We can just walk into all of y'all. There we go. Back up to full HP. I kind of want to have a Yum Heart Charge available. Oh, old bandage. You're going to be so good to me. So good to me. I'm sorry. Yes. Old Bandage is going to be great. Especially considering Old Bandage, um, it leaves the HP on the floor. So we can, like, come back for it. So we've got a heart there. I'm just going to leave that there. Make my way back over to the double key room. Anyways, I completely forgot about the question of the day today. Question of the day today. Let's have a little think. Hmm. I, I was thinking of asking something food related. Do you know what? Actually, I'm going to admit something. Today, well, I said today, over the past few days, I've had, like reasonably, I wouldn't say bad, but I've had anxiety, and it's something I've really not experienced before. So, how are you guys doing mentally? Just simple question. I know some people aren't doing too well. I know some people are doing great. It's either off. If you don't feel comfortable telling me, that's completely fine. I know some people don't. I know some people do. It's whatever. Share as you share as you like. Oh, that's kind of weird. I've got two items that look very similar. I've got Zodiac here. Yeah, i got to say. Uh, but I thought, I don't know. I've, I've never really experienced much of it myself before. I've normally been a pretty mentally sound person. But recently, I've just, I don't know. It's just been kind of, it just kind of came out of nowhere. It, that's, that's just kind of what it does, right? Um, and yeah, it's been it's been an interesting few days. Not not exactly pleasant. But um, I'm sure I'll get over it soon. It's nothing major. It's, it's triggered by something specific. I'm not going to go into detail to what it was. But it wasn't anything like really bad or anything. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out our shop. You want my Molten Dime? No thank you. No thank you with my Molten Dime, please. Right. Let's go for you, Chuckle Nuts. Uh, that was a really bad bomb placement there. I realized that. Come on, old bandage. I was waiting for old bandage to do me a solid there. It did not. Okay, good. And now he can just run into you. Oh, you... He's, he's such a dick sometimes. Okay, Taurus will kill you. Taurus will kill you. Got that. I'm just going to take that. And I think I'm just going to leave. I could maybe play the Blood Bank, but honestly, I've got enough money. Let's let's uh, refresh the shop here. See what we can get. That's very good. <laughs> Why is it so laggy in the shop? Oh, damn, yeah, that's very good. We'll pop that. Um, not really bothered about either of those. I'd like jetpack, but I actually just realized we can't afford it now. But yeah, car battery is pretty insane for us here. Especially with Molten Dime. 
it's going to make it have a chance to not work more often, but when it does work, it's going to really pop off, and I, I like the idea of that. And it's also just going to make Yum Heart a whole hell of a lot better too, which is tickety-boo, I think. Um, some good stuff in there. We shall see, we shall see. But yeah, I know it's, it's maybe more of a personal question that people might not want to answer, but I thought, hey, hey why not? Um, just thought I'd kind of, I don't know, I, I don't really talk about my personal life. No, I, I do talk about my personal life, but I don't talk about like how I'm doing personally that often. I'm normally doing pretty well. And I, I wouldn't say I'm doing bad, but it's just something that's, uh, that's, that's happened recently and I thought it's worth kind of mentioning. It helps to talk about these things anyways. So we will find that Molten Die will probably work less often now, just because it's now got twice the chance to fail. But when it does succeed, it's going to succeed really hard. Okay, so... Okay, be careful with this thing. Do you know what? Honestly, I want I want uh, to pop my Virgo invincibility. There you go. Because I have Virgo invincibility right now. That's exactly what I was looking for. Blood bag for a huge speed upgrade, but also just having more HP to mess around with. Hugely beneficial to us. Hugely beneficial. I like it. Now we need like a nun's habit. I always get like really broken runs with this character, I swear. Don't know what it is. My runs are always crazy with this gal. And I love it. She's such a fun character. Like, she's broken. She's really OP. Really hard to lose as her unless you, like, make some major mistakes. But she is just hella fun. Right. Um. Okay, we need to go find our item room, actually. I probably won't use Molten Dime on the item room. I tend to only use it in shops or, like, when I get a bad item. Like, a really bad item. Otherwise, I'm pretty okay to just keep whatever I get. Okay, good. I'm really liking having the ladder right now. Normally, I don't rate the ladder all that much. I'm not I'm not someone that uses the ladder that much. But having it in this situation here is really nice. Babies, come to me. Come to me, my little childrens. So that's actually a pretty good idea. Ooh, that would have been good too. But holy poop's actually pretty good here. Um, ooh, an item. Leprosy's also pretty good. And we got healed for going out there. Right, yeah, leprosy is pretty good because it's an on-hit effect. Hollowed poop is also an on-hit effect. Really good stuff here. Uh, I'm almost certain this is our secret room, so I'll check it out. There you go. We got a horse pill. It's just a long paralysis. Just a very long paralysis. Thank you. <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. Thanks. Right. Let's destroy this guy. Remember, Yum Heart's going to work so well. But yeah, now we get the, the poop there, look. That'll be super, super useful later on in the game. At the minute, it doesn't really matter all that much to us. We don't really need it. There is our angel deal. So one thing... Ooh. I was going to say one thing we can do is destroy this guy. But we don't have a bomb, so it doesn't actually matter. But I'll take Trisag. Trisag's pretty good. And I'll be happy with what I've got. And we're just going to go down. We're not looking to go to Mother... Go in here real quick. So we'll definitely crack that bad boy open. There you go. Enemies take damage whenever you do. Oh, what a great item. And from my mod nonetheless. Placebo, another great item. Do you know what? You see? You see what happens? Um, ki killing Kills all enemies. Uh, gives you a broken heart. Unfortunately, not what we really need right now. Um... The sun is decent. We'll just pop that. Devil. The stars. Remove your oldest item. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Let's get out here. Pop in here. And we'll use the stars. We got sausage. Very nice. And a huge luck increase. Very nice. Okay, beautiful. I don't know why that didn't increase the planetarium chance. It should have done. But yeah, having revenge now, we're, we're, we're pretty set. We got a lot of on hit effects. It's very, very nice. I could have gone and tried to use my uh, thing to duplicate those items in there, but I thought, nah. Let's just keep it simple. Take the sausage. Take the huge luck increase. Be happy. And now we have piercing as well. Oh, beautiful. This is so good. Like I said, we have a pretty broken run going on right now. I think I'll just kill all of you. 
asking me that. Yeah, I'll have to let the uh, developer know that they haven't accounted for Tainted Maggie, because that needs to be sorted. You can't be getting just infinite mini Isaacs. <laughs> That's just too strong. I mean, I wouldn't say it's too strong, but you, you don't want you don't want it working that way. That's not how it should work. Uh, blue map's pretty good, but I'm going to duplicate first. And look at that. It's Nun's Habit. It's also Red Stew. It's also this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this. And this. Oh, lordy, lordy. The hermit turns pickups and items. Ooh. There you go. Just a bit of money there. Well, didn't that work out just perfectly? My lord, that was beautiful. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was good going. We got Nun's Habit, so we, we have reached what I would call critical mass. We, um... We have had a synergy as broken as this before. Oh, there's another enemy there. Hello. We've had a synergy as broken as this before. And we have it again. Especially with revenge, we can uh, do some crazy stuff. Oh, look, a lover's card. I wonder if we'll need that. Hello there, sir. I'll try paying you out. I'm only going down to one bomb, though. I just want you to pay out with an item so I can try and duplicate it. But he ain't paying out today. No worries, my friend. No worries. I'm going to be using my, my dime, like, all the time now. Trying to duplicate cards and stuff like that into other stuff. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. But car battery, nuns have it. We are on for a winner here. Absolutely on for a winner. Um, Epa 4 is not that good. Let's duplicate it. Because I don't care if it gets deleted. If we could get a room that has combat, that would be good. Why did I use the bomb there when I could have got so many extra bombs? That was just silly. That was just very, very silly. One good thing about the Molten Diamonds as well, if this does succeed, which it didn't, uh, but if it does succeed, and we could leave one item and then use it again. So good. There's my one bomb. Let's quickly go back and get those extra bombs, because why not? I'm loving the speed that we have right now as well. Thank you, Bloodbag. You have been very good to me. But yeah, today I've had a really good day so far. I've, um, as I said, I've been, feel I've been having a little bit of anxiety, but it's nothing, it's nothing huge. Uh, but today, just generally, I have had a good day. Um, I've had the day off, so I went, well, kind of had the day off, so I went out uh, to town with my girlfriend. That sounds like I did things, no. Uh, that's not what I meant. I, what I meant to, uh, is I went to the town centre, to city centre, uh, with my girlfriend, and we went and had five guys, which was awesome, um, and just did some general shopping, and then later on we're going to go back and go to a place called BJ's, which again sounds really wrong, but it's actually a, the name of a, um, of a bar that does like 10p wings, um, and oh my god. For 10p you'd think they'd be really terrible, but they are not, they are amazing, they are genuinely just the best wings ever. I'm like barely using Yum Heart at this point as well. Ah, you got me. You got me. But yeah, it's like we get, we get healed for like four hearts every four hits with Yum Heart. So it's like guaranteed unlimited health. Hello, hello. Okay, crack you. Got some clickety clacks in here there. Dead. I love the fact that we've got Tri-Sag as well here. I'm wondering if we'll end up getting some, like, crazy synergies with it. Maybe. I'm hoping we can get another Angel deal at some point here. Let's see what we get from this. Cracker Jacks. Ooh, we failed and succeeded. Rare that that happens, but you, that can happen. We failed it, so it removed the item, but spawned another one. So we got Parasitoid Tears, which I really like, and I think they're really good with um, Trisag as well. I think the when when it procs, the whole the whole shot has the uh, the effect, and it can spawn a ton, a ton of flies. Ooh, definitely will take Mum's Ring. Come on, you. You know you want to die. 
I mean, at this point, they're just dying to the aura around us. Damn it. Anzus. Don't mind an Anzus. Ooh, tinted rock there. Wait, what? How did I... Oh, I think I, I, hit, I think I hit the stern. The stern block. Not the stern block, the metal block instead. That was a little silly. Yeah, don't worry about these. I just, I, I love playing as Maggie like this. When you get a run like this, you can just do whatever the hell you want. Molten Dime is just so broken. I kind of hope it never gets patched, even though it's super broken, because it's really fun, but it probably should get nerfed. It probably should be a six room charge, like, at least. Like, it'd still be, it, it could still potentially be broken, a six room charge, but it'd be less potential to be broken. Yeah, I'm just running a train on everything at the minute. It's beautiful. Goddamn, so many mini Isaacs. They die pretty quick, so we're running directly into enemies, but still. Ooh, it's a shard of glass. So we'll do a bit of re-rolling here and see what we can get. But if we don't get anything we like, then we'll try and duplicate. I'm looking for something contact damage either, or something that's going to get make our tiers a lot better. So far, we're not. We're getting kind of stinkers here. Quite a lot of stinkers. Okay. Oh, God. Samson's chain. No, no, no. Okay. We can get some more charges, though. We'll come back to you. In fact, we can get quite a lot more charges quite easily. Just hurt me, please. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> There's another charge right there. There's probably a, there was probably a fire even closer I could have used somewhere around here. That's the sort of stuff I'm looking for. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me the golden heart. Any way I can hurt myself around here. Any good way to hurt myself. Quite welcome. There you go. Thank you. We'll try that again. Yeah, it, I, to be fair, it is more broken when you have car battery. Okay, it's gone. The fact that it hurts us gives us a charge is funny. It charges up my yum heart. More stuff here. Oh my god, our money is just popping off. Absolutely popping off. Ooh, some soul hearts as well. They're just fodder at this point for us. It's great. Another cell heart. Pop that on you. That on you. Another charge, thank you. God, they have so much more money. Up to basically 99 at this point. We lose our, our soul hearts pretty fast, but we don't exactly need them. Ooh, no way. This is about to get so busted. By the way, if you don't know what this trinket does, picking up a red heart that, you, that, that goes past your full red heart health, if you can't pick it up, it gives you a damage up. I'll try and show that here. Okay, I, I actually needed that one, but you, you'll see, you'll see. It's about to get real nuts. Is it working? It is letting us pick him up, but it isn't... I think that maybe, I think maybe the item's broken. Because it's supposed to be giving us a ton of... Um, it's supposed to be giving us a ton of damage here, but it's just not. And I'm not sure why. It's supposed to be scaling our damage up. Maybe it's broken. That'd be real sad if it is. Maybe it just doesn't work with the uh, temporary half hearts. But yeah, I don't see our damage scaling at all here. Hello, sir. Got that. Crack that open. Quickly head back to our shop real quick and pop this again. Damn it. Unlucky for me. We're trying, trying to go for the beast here, which I don't even know if is a good idea with this build. Because we're not very, our shots aren't very good. Like, they're decent, but we need them to be better than they are right now to make that work, I think. Like, this should be scaling our damage ridiculously, but it's just not, and I'm not sure why. I need an uh, old bandage to proc. Okay, so old bandage. Yeah, I picked up the heart and it didn't scale my damage at all. It's definitely broken. That's unfortunate because it's a really fun trinket. Oh, 
Little bandage is procking a lot here. Huh, shove the bomb. What you got for us? Nothing. What the hell? It's okay, we'll go for our next secret room here. See what that has to offer. I love the fact that if we're in our holy poop, in the area of the uh, the holy poop as well, we have a chance to not take damage. Oh, hello. This is an interesting room. Thanks for the gigabomb. I don't know where I'll use that, but I'm sure I will. Kind of wanted to duplicate it and get more of them, but <laughs> I also didn't want to lose it. Okay. It do this trinket does let us pick up the excess hearts, which is the weird thing. We're still able to pick up the excess hearts. You just don't do what they're supposed to. I think it's an Ipecac item. It's it's really too strong anyways. This 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 run would have been like It's already over. This run's already won. It would have been even more one run because our damage would have just scaled into absurdity. These bloody spiders. To give me cell hearts, I don't mind. What are you gonna give me? Can I get lucky? I did get lucky. I got deep pockets, which is actually genuinely pretty good for me right now, because I'm kind of hitting the money cap. Might help with that. Look how many minis I've got. My mini Isaacs. They're going crazy. There's so many of them. Come, my children. Follow me. Chase onwards. Uh, excuse me. Uh, the player will now fire a constant stream of weak poop. Nah. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that's better. Where's our shop at? We need to duplicate some stuff. Hello, you. I've barely even, like, used Yum Heart as well. That's the thing. I'm just sustaining on pure kills alone. Okay, you... You are playable. You are certainly playable, my lad. Give me an item. I don't know what I'm looking for from you, but give me an item. I don't need the money for anything, really. Deep pockets will end up giving me some money back anyways. This guy takes so long to pay out, I swear. There you go. 4.5 volt? Wait. I've got to test this. I've got to test this. Okay, I can still take- I can still get thingy. Okay, this works. This works. We got a joker as well. That's nice. Nice. I, I wasn't sure if 4.5 volt stopped Nun's habit from working, but it's fine. It, do it doesn't. This just in effect a lot better for us. I like it. Right. Item room. Oh, no. We've seen item room. We it's a shop that we're looking for. Come on, my shoppy. Where are you? Oh, bloody hell. I didn't realize he was red. Oh, he dropped a golden troll bomb. You motherfucker. You black hats. We got an empty heart container. Oh, no, no. I, I, for some reason, I thought we gained an empty heart container then, but we didn't. We didn't. I'm just looking at that wrong. Wheel of Fortune. Here's our shop. Hermit. <laughs> I could save myself a key. I think I'm okay, thanks. It's back. Champions spawn more often. 1.5 times multiplier. It's incredibly overpowered still. Great. Golden champion belt is still a ridiculous item to be in the shop pool. I will stand by that. I still don't think it should be. But the developers can do as they please and I will accept it. I am just going to be really strong. Thank you. Did he- wait, did he even give me a 1.5? What was my damage before? I don't know. Anyways, champion spawning more, more often is actually pretty good. It's not a bad thing for us. Wow. Uh, devil deal, I guess. I didn't bring a card in here with me. I brought a devil card. I'm stupid. Um... Okay, I can't actually take damage with that. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Ah. 
Come on. Give me some good stuff. Like brimstone. Wasn't expecting brimstone, but I'll certainly take it. Wait, is this... Is this really broken? It is, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be here a while. <laughs> just just a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna say, get those items out of my face for now. I'm gonna be here a while. <laughs> my damage is gonna get quite high from this. I, I Yeah, I just kind of realized that I'm able to uh, infinitely use this because of Yum Heart. This is uh, fairly broken. I'm just gonna get a bit of damage. You know. Just a bit of damage. I've never considered how broken Sanguine Bond would be with this character before. I don't know how. Like, it makes no sense how I've not considered this. What does that brimstone look like? Okay, pretty bad right now. We need it, like, bouncing off walls or something. I'm just looking for the damage upgrade. You can see we're at 13. 14.20... There's some black hearts, we'll take them too. There's some black hearts, we'll take them too. Obviously at the minute as well, we're looking for items. Items and damage upgrades are kind of the two that we're looking for mainly. I don't know if Sanguine Bond has a cap. I, I, I feel like it doesn't. We got damage again. There's the Leviathan transformation, that's a rare chance. I think that's a 1% chance actually. I hope you're in this for a long haul. Let's let's tell a story while we're here. Let's let's think. Well, I, I can, I'm going to kind of go over the events of today because I didn't really give much detail. So, today, woke up, went to the gym. I've been going to the gym a lot more recently. My girlfriend goes to the gym quite a lot. Um, she's been going like three or four times a week. So I decided to go with her today and she's been kind of showing me the ways of the gym and showing me how to like um, do a lot of the different machines. Because normally when I go, I just do a run and that's like it. So I, I did like arms with the other day and I did legs with the other day and it was, it's strenuous. It was like not easy. Um, I definitely had a, a reasonably hard time, a harder time than I probably should, which is why I'm kind of going. Um, and honestly, it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, it's definitely, I'm feeling like healthier from it. Damn, that's some of that nightmare in a while. Um, yeah, I'm feeling healthier for it as well, definitely. That's something that I feel... I feel like a lot of people don't really sort of consider that aspect of the gym. It's kind of... It's good for your mental health. Like, obviously, as I was said, saying earlier, I've been feeling more anxious and just having a bit of anxiety recently. And it's definitely helped with that quite a lot. It's made me just feel a whole lot more... I, I don't know how to sort of say it. It's like self-assured or something. I don't know. It makes me feel better about myself. Um, and just generally, like, not even mentally, physically, it makes me feel better too. I don't know how many people out there are, like, quite active or go to the gym much. I, I've always been a person that likes it. I'm just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm very much, it's hard for me to motivate myself to go. I, I feel like we've maybe reached a cap here. It feels like this isn't doing anything anymore. Oh, no, it's still giving us damage ups. I think we're just getting a little lucky is all. We're still getting money. I just, I'm surprised, like, I'm not saying that we should be getting a lot of items. Okay, there you go. I'm not saying that we should be getting a lot of items, but we're getting less items than I thought we'd have by now. I swear it's like a 10% chance to get an item, which is like one in 10 players, and we've done like 40. <laughs> I, I will stay here a while, by the way. But yeah, then, then we went, like I said, we went to town, got five guys, which was incredible. Five guys have just kind of sort of become more popular in the UK. And I was kind of discussing this with my girlfriend. I'm not sure if it's because of EU laws, uh, because obviously we're outside of the EU now or what, but I remember for like, when I was like younger, um, there was a lot of food laws that came into place around like how much salt content is allowed to be in certain food in the UK and just how unhealthy it's generally allowed to be. And I remember McDonald's and Subway were two of the ones that got kind of hit really hard by that rule because they very much didn't really abide by it. Like they, they, they had very, very high salt contents in their food and stuff. So it was, um, it was interesting to see that in Five Guys, they still, like, really heavily salt their chips. Like, way more than anywhere else does. And I'm not sure if that's because they just that's just how they do it and they get away with it, or because it's the more lax rules now that we're outside of the EU, not in, not governing that anymore. So full, food health safety rules aren't quite as strict. Which is kind of worrying, because, like, I, I'm not saying that, like, 
you, you can make your informed choices and know if you're eating healthy or not. Like, especially now, I don't know if it's happened in America or anywhere else yet, but in the UK recently, a law just come into place where literally everything has to label how many calories are in it, um, which is actually genuinely really helpful. Um, wait a minute. There you go. It's genuinely really helpful because it, it, it allows you to kind of budget a little better. Um, ooh, I also want to get rid of that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, it allows you to kind of budget your calories a little bit better because uh, I've kind of been semi-dieting recently. I won't really call it proper dieting, but I've I've got this like calorie counting app where I can see how many, I can sort of count up the calories that I'm eating and I'm trying to go for about 1,640 a day, I think it is, which I think average intake for a guy is like 2,200. So it's quite a lot lower than normal, but I'm finding it reasonably easy. It's not super difficult. I just gotta be careful with what I eat. I think my main problem with eating, I wouldn't say like I'm hugely overweight or anything like that. I am a little bit, but I'm not like crazy overweight. It's just like weight that everyone put on during COVID. Um, my, my main problem is that I've got a very big appetite. I can, I can eat for a very long amount of time. Um, I, I can, like, have really big meals, and usually, to be fully satisfied, to, like, be full in what I eat, I normally do eat quite a lot, and so I tend to over-portion quite a lot of my foods. I think that just comes from, from my family and just how they were. My dad is, is, is a quite a large man, um, and he, uh, can you stop giving me these damn stupid hearts, please? Um... My dad's quite a large guy that um, that eats quite a lot. And so when I was younger, we always used to have like second or third helpings of meals. And also I was, by, by my, especially by my grandparents, I was always taught to clean your plate. I was never punished for not cleaning my plate, but it was always, ooh, anarchy's pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, I was always kind of taught to make sure to clean my plate and stuff. So I, I've kind of stuck with that and... I'm not not to not to make anyone feel bad that doesn't, but I feel like a lot of people nowadays like really don't abide by that at all, and it is a little upsetting to see sometimes because I feel it's very it, it, at least to me it looks very wasteful. I see I've got a few friends or I see a lot of people out eating that they'll buy a meal and a drink and they'll like leave like 50% or more of it and then like 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 leave. But I'm like, dude, you just paid for that food with your money. You just paid for it. How are you okay to just leave it there? I, I, ju I just, I don't understand. To me, it's, it's, it's such a, it's such a baffling thing. Like, I, like, obviously because I've got a big appetite, I'm usually able to clear my plates or whatever. I'm usually able to eat enough to, to make sure I don't leave anything. But I, un I completely understand when people are physically, their, their eyes are too big for their belly, they order too much food and they can't finish it that's fine but when people like order a burger and chips and they leave like half the burger and chips it's like why on earth did you order this much food like you could order it without the chips like i i just don't understand like you, all you've done there is wasted a bunch of really good food potentially insulted the people that made it for you and wasted your own money. And it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's happened a few times now. It happened just last night. We were at this uh, really, really good burger place. Um, with a, my, my friend came over for the weekend. So we went out. He's a photographer and so is my girlfriend. So they went out and um, took some photographs of the city. Um, and then we went out for some food. We went to this really good burger place that we absolutely love. And the, the couple just behind us left like a full burger and chips. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Not only is the food delicious, but like you could take it home. You could have not ordered as much. It's like, do, you, do, do people just have unlimited money to waste on everything? Like, I'm by no means a poor person. Like, I wouldn't say I'm rich by any means. Definitely not. But like, I, 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 have, I, I earn enough to live a, a reasonably comfortable life. But... I still am very cautious to not ever waste money. I still make sure that I'm not buying food I don't need or buying anything I don't need, really. Like, at the minute, one thing I really want is I want a stand mixer, um, which, if you don't know what that is, that's, like, for making bread and stuff like that. I kind of really want one of those um, just because I like cooking and I want to be able to make more bread. But at the same time, I don't know how much I'll use it and they're, like, but they're, they're, they're like between 100... Um, between like 150 and like 300 pounds and it's like it's a lot of money for something that I don't know how often I'll use like if I knew for a fact I was going to use it like once a week I'd feel quite inclined but I just I don't know so I'm like do I really need it do I really need to bother buying something like that and I feel like that's gotten me 
like, it's gotten me to a good place in life. I've managed to, like, I'm only 24. I've managed to save a decent amount. I'm kind of looking next year into buying my first house um, with my girlfriend. And, yeah, I, like, I've managed to save a, a good amount for, like, emergencies or just whatever I want. Uh, whereas I've got... Hello? One second. I am back. Sorry, my girlfriend just came in with the bin uh, leaking and ripped at the bottom. And I had to help her uh, <laughs> put it back together because she was taking out the bins. So that was very nice of her, but yeah. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Um, yeah, and, and it's just like, it's nice to have that comfort. And I, so many people just, I don't know, they throw away so much money. It's, it's, it's... Like I used to, I used to live with a few friends that uh, I, I really liked living with them. They were really nice people, and I'm still good friends with them now. But they were so bad with money; they just wasted. They had, they had so little, and they wasted so much all of the time, and it just baffled me. I just like if I was, if I was like, because I'm not in any major debt apart from my student debt, which I don't even really count to be honest. Um, but like if I was in like major debt to the point where um, like I like. I was like fully overdrawn or fully in my overdraft. I'd be stressing all the fucking time. I'd be so stressed about every little penny I spent. But they're like ordering takeaways and going on nights out. It's like, what the f Like, I'd be eating beans for all my meals. Beans and rice and nothing else. I, I'd, I'd just be so stressed. By the way, we're, go we're going until we get... Uh, I was going to say one more item, but I got an item as I was saying that. So we're going to go until we get one more item. Oh, God. Um, one minute, one minute. What's that? Uh, remove torn wings. That, the game did not like that. <laughs> I don't know what was up with that item, but the game did not like it. Okay, we're going to be getting a lot of ghosts now. Oh my lord. We're going to one more item. <laughs> I'm, I don't know why I'm even doing this, because I could just do this on the next devil deal. <laughs> it's just coins every time. So many ghosty boys. Go, my ghosty friends. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Fi finances is a difficult thing. If you're young, by the way, don't get in debt. It's dumb. It's easy. I, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say it's easy to not get in debt because it depends on your current living situation and what you're doing and, and where you are. But it's like it, it's it's a vicious cycle. You don't want to get yourself in debt. Don't, don't buy things. One, th one thing that I see a lot of my friends doing is taking out loans on things and, and, and go going for repay options where it's like, pay this much a month for so many months. If you can't afford something, don't fucking buy it. Because <laughs> the thing is, one thing that people don't really think about is when you take one of those, it's like, oh yeah, cool. I can afford six pound a month for the next year. Yeah, you probably can. But what if you lose your job and you're jobless for months and then you've got that money coming out every month and a lot of the time it's more than six pounds. A lot of the time it's like 20, 40, 60, whatever. Like, it's, it's a really, really bad idea. You're going to regret it. <laughs> if you can't afford something, don't buy it. Big advice. we got prayer card now. Okay, do you know what? Let's leave it there. We've got ourselves up to 33 damage. We've got ourselves double brimstones. We missed the beast fight because I'm a dumb. But there you go. Beautiful. But now we can just, like, run into things and insta-kill them. Oh, we got Haunted Rose twice. I didn't realize. Oh, my lord. Everything died in that room, then. Oh, we got a Joker card here. We could <laughs> go to the next Devil Deal and do it again. But, yeah, this is... This is... Oh, I forgot about the Gigabomb. <laughs> I forgot about the Gigabomb. On Death Revive. Um, We don't really need to smell any of our trinkets right now, to be honest. Doesn't make too much of a difference to us, does it? Beautiful. Just keep popping Yum Heart whenever we need to. Also, having Sack Dagger here is nice. Let's go for the World card here. We've got an Eternal Heart there out of nowhere. We've got Bob's Bladder as well, which I don't really think we need. Beautiful. I'll try and go for this second secret room here. I love these void bombs. 
These uh, enemies are a little hard to go for. Oh, wait, they're all dead. I was going to say a little, a little hard to, to kill, but it doesn't matter. They're all dead. Grab that real quick. Make sure Yum Heart's out. I'd rather have Yum Heart out. The Immortal Heart is actually so good right now. Oh, we lost it already. Oh, the Fallen. Hello. Larynx. We did get this. Uh, I'll go with this one first. Crown of Light. Crown of Light isn't actually that good for us. Max random enemy that takes double damage. I think we go for that. And we destroy you. Oh my god, things are dying so fast. Things are dying so fast. Right, let's get a charge and duplicate that bad boy. See what we get. See if we get anything, that is. I love the ghosts we're getting here. This is stupid. Oh, I'm already charged. I keep forgetting I've got 4.5 volt and nuns have it. Like, it's very hard for me to not have enough charges. Honestly, let's pop this bad boy a bit. Whatever it's got for me, I'm getting it. Ah, uh, it's just an IV bag. That's not what I wanted. Unfortunately, that's gone too. And away we go. I like, I like the fact that I have Brimstone and I just like, I'm not even using it. It's just so secondary to me now. The hell's this? Walnut. Is that just a resprite? Drops key heart coin uh, after getting hit to. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. Getting hit by explosions doesn't count, game. You know this. Hello, sir. How are you? Thank you for the blood bag. I kind of would like to play you, but I can't rapid play you, so I don't know. If I could do the rapid plays, you'd be more enticing to me. Give me one wisp and let's go. Thank you. Okay. Away we go. Got a scratch card there. Pop it. Just a bunch of batteries. God damn, I love runs like this where it's just impossible to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pop your little tail up. There you go. Also you. Why not play you? Damn it. Oh, double devil's crown. I don't think I need a doubled Devil's Crown. Oh, we got a, a, a corny boy over there. God damn, this is beautiful. <laughs> Runs like this are quite fun. I wonder what the uh, betrayal knife means. Probably something, I'd reckon. Probably something. Ooh. Hello. Um, oh, beams of light fall from the sky upon taking damage. Hell yes. Damn it. Molten Dime, why won't you work for me anymore? Okay. It was lying about the beams of light. Uh, do you know, I think Ipecac is, like, really broken at the minute. Because, like... There's loads of their items that just aren't working. And it's probably it's probably not even Ipecac's fault. It's probably a negative mod interaction I've got going on. I've just I've got to tell them, because there's there's some stuff going on. So there's one of the unlocks. That's that. What did we take again? I don't okay, we took up. Let's go up. Right, one moment. Cool. One second, guys. Right, let's continue onwards on this just tirade of a run. Just keep spamming this. Oh, we should probably use our... Oh, hello, little brimstone boy. Okay. Taken care of. Ah! No, 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 no. Okay. 
Right. And let's pop this. Split collectibles into the into item wisps. Hmm. Do I dare tempt myself? The temptation is quite delicious. Ooh, hello. I don't know why you paired out with that item. Oh, we got anarchy, don't we? I think anarchy has something to do with that. You know what? Give me dog teeth as well. Why not? Oh. <sighs> What you got for me, game? More damage? More something? One second. Cool. We got fucking Ipecac, Ipa beautiful. I didn't realize my health was getting a bit low there. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Stardust's quite nice. We're getting trinkets out of nowhere. I'm not sure where, but I'll take them. Yeah, I think we've exhaust, somehow exhausted the item. I don't know what, what's going on. I'm guessing it's just an, an anarchy that's doing this, but I, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I honestly don't know what's going on. One second again. Sorry, I'm just talking to the Ipecac devs and the Repentance Plus devs at the same time about various things. Beautiful. Grab, grab. And... Do you know what? Let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. We've, we've done enough to this game. We've done enough. Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful laser beam. I probably want to be going this way, I think. Go down. Oh, that is gorgeous. Explodey, beautiful, brimstone beam of death. I love it. It's so colourful. So beautiful. So majestic. Birthright. As one more red heart that doesn't drain, I guess. Oh, we got two of them as well. Anarchy is popping like crazy at the minute. 2020. It popped on that too. Double 2020. <laughs> Glaucoma. Wavy cap. Oh god. I'm gonna I'm gonna save that and uh just do one of these. Damn it. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it. Oh my god. It's just nuts. There's a bit of homing in there as well. Tainted rocks have been unlocked. Dad's ring, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to start the Repentance plus Dead God. I don't know. I might end up changing the thumbnail for it. I might not. I will see. I'll play around with things. It might end up being the same thumbnail. The cookie cutter has been unlocked. And let's go. Yeah, this has just been a wholeheartedly beautiful run. Quite beautiful indeed. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. I had to. <laughs> we got double chilies. We got so many things doubled with Anarchy this time around. Tia game got doubled as well. Why the hell not? So many doublings, it's beautiful. Oh lord. Oh my goodness. Large zit got doubled. C section. Pop. Lodestone. Charm shot. Little monster. This. Purity, Colostor, whatever. Oh, Lord. Where's the C section? I meant to have C section. It's in there somewhere. I don't know where. 
genuinely have no idea where it is within this. Is Do we have C-section at all? I, I, I genuinely can't tell. It says that we did get it, but I'm not seeing it in there. I like the way that Sig Monstro lives on. Like, he's still here in spirit when we have Little Monstro. Our Little Monstro is still Sig monstro My goodness. Baby, baby, baby. Our luck is giving us quite a lot of chests here as well. Who remains here? And how do you remain? Oh god. Things are about to get real wild here. Oh god. <laughs> I thought things were going to get a bit wild. Hello, Blue Baby. How are you today? You have been bested. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that run. What a mad one. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.